Hey everybody, it's Maggie with Haunted Designs. Um, I got asked to show you guys how to use my alphabet letter PNG sheets that I sell. Um, some of my alphabets are separated, but it's, it's much easier for me when I'm designing and when I'm using the letters, just to have them all on one or two sheets if possible, because instead of opening tons of files to have for each letter, uh, especially if you're doing like a sentence or bigger words, it's a lot easier just to have them all on one sheet and grab them as you need them. So super easy, um, especially if you have Photoshop, uh, it should work pretty much similar in any other program that you use. All programs when you're editing should have some kind of a select tool. Right over here there's a little marquee rectangle tool. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our first letter. You're just going to select around the area that you want to copy and you can push control C and copy it or you can go up here and just hit copy. Then you're going to go over to your design area. I have several things open right now. So I'm going to put this over here and uh, just kind of lay it out how I want. So there's the first letter. Then we're going to go over here and grab our O. Copy it and then paste it. Then we're just going to make it bigger, smaller, whatever we're looking to do. I usually just kind of arrange them after I get them all over there. So we're going to select this one. See how easy it is? Super easy. And we're going to grab the E and then we're going to be almost done with our design. See how easy designing can be? <laughs> So there we go and this is a darker background so it's kind of harder to see the the word on here so what I usually do is I go into my effect area and try to make it pop a little bit with some kind of highlighting around the area And you can do like drop shadows and stuff. If you want it just to pop a little bit more. Another thing you can do, um, just to show you guys, this is over in the styles. You can take this and just make it a little more edgier around the edges, which makes it pop a little bit more. There you go. Now it's ready to be saved as a PNG. Go over here, save it. Save as Flower Black Splash. Let's see. Well, we're going to save as a PNG. And there we go. It's saved and we can use it later. I just wanted you guys to see how simple that really is. PNGs take a little while to save sometimes. I am going to be doing some more tutorials on um, designing and uh, teaching you guys how to make these background splashes and things to that effect. Also, I want to do a live uh, Q&A uh, and go over just some questions of basic tricks that you can do. Um, just some easy stuff. I do plan on doing a more intense like designing and building your business course and I'm gonna try to make it as affordable as I can. I know a lot of people charge a lot for those types of courses but I'm gonna try to keep it you know affordable for the everyday person when I when I do uh, get it up and going. So 
that's how you use those. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. I do try to be as helpful as I can. I don't claim to know everything. There's probably always an easier way or a better way to do things. All I can do is show you the ways that I do things. So uh, that's all for now. I'll talk to you guys later.